On this Earth Day, we continue our series Planet Early with a look at what's going on beneath the ocean surface. We went down to Florida to the Keys to check out what's happening with the coral reefs, not only there, but around the world. I've been coming to this canal since 1965, but it was incredible, just amazing. Dan Kipnis is an environmentalist who's been diving off the coast of the Florida Keys for over 30 years, and he can't believe what's happened to the reefs he loves. I, this is my passion, and it's going away. Coral reefs cover only 1% of the ocean's surface, but provide habitat to one quarter of the Earth's marine life a major source within the food chain. But the coral reefs are being devastated. We don't hear a lot about the fact that the coral reefs are dying and disappearing. You, you can't see it. Out of sight, out of mind, you can't see it. Today, you're gonna see it. We suited up and dove down to the ocean's floor to see the destruction firsthand. It's remarkable. Once tall, colorful, brilliant corals and sea life are now destroyed lying dead and broken on the bottom of the ocean. It's an effect referred to as coral bleaching, which many scientists believe is a result of global warming. When you hear that the temperature's risen one or one and a half degrees in the water, it doesn't seem like a lot, but all of this water covering all of the earth means a massive difference to everything that's under this surface. The algae that lives inside a coral is very sensitive to temperature. And when you raise the temperature, the algae dies. When the algae dies, the coral has nothing to eat. The coral dies. And it's not just happening here in the Keys. Reefs in Jamaica's Montego Bay, the Indian Ocean, Indonesia, and in waters around the world are suffering the same fate. And a new study suggests that all of the ocean's reefs could be dead in just a few decades. Without the corals, a lot of animals can't live. And without those animals, the whole food chain breaks down. The whole ecological cycle of the ocean collapses. If we lose the corals in the ocean, they're just like the forest. The ocean goes. We lose the ocean, mankind cannot survive. It's a daunting problem with clear consequences that some of us could see in our lifetimes. My daughter's 25 years old. She isn't gonna get to see this. We keep doing what we're doing. She's not gonna get to see this. And your grandchildren? Forget about it. And again, that reminder that if we could see the same level of erosion on the Earth's surface, in the forests, in our cities, in the greenery around us, we might be more alarmed. Now, it's important to note that there is dissenting opinion when it comes to global warming, but I'll tell you, after being uh, down there and seeing what was this magnificent beauty no longer there, it certainly is cause to think and think about what we can do uh, to protect what's left for generations to come.